Hello and welcome to the Game Troop. Um, today I'm going to be playing a game called Leviathan Warships. Uh, it's basically a turn-based naval fighting game, uh, which I really like. Kevin doesn't like it, so I'm joined with Simo today, uh, but he's not talking because we're playing a uh, versus game and I don't really want him to know my tactics. So I'm going to get started and build a new fleet. Um, so if I hit new fleet here, I'm going to be taken to a, uh, a different view. So here we are, here's all the hulls that we can build our ships from. Um, now I have bought the extra expansion packs, so you know, I've got all these extra ships, which is pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, so I'm going to start off with an overlord, because it's cheap, it's heavily armoured and it's got a lot of guns. Um, so what you do is you put it in, and this is your starting position, so if I add like a bunch of other ships to it, this is like the starting position they start in, so that's pretty good. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for like a heavy scout tactic, which is this ship would stay very far back, and then I'd have a bunch of scouts go in nice and close range, close range weapons, but they're very heavily armoured, so they sort of uh, annoy the enemy ships, whilst this one could take them out uh, from range without them seeing them. So let's stick a bunch of armour on here. There we go. Uh, let's go for the scout bridge, gives it an extra view. So let's see what we've we got here. So uh, the Kauser is like a very close range weapon. Um, as you can see, you can you know do this kind of stuff. Pegasus is very <coughs> overpowered. Um, so let's just put a few of these on. There we go. Now this one's pretty good as well, the Barbara. Now, I'm not really fond of the artillery because it has a, a, a very it, it sort of goes where it wants, and then the rockets, you need a lot of them to be able to do anything. So we're not really going to not really gonna do that either. So let's just push Bob on. Okay. The cows. I think. There we go. One more. Okay, we're done for this shift. So there we go. Done. Save. Yes. Now... We do need a buzzer, because buzzers are basically the tiniest ship, and they're really, really cheap, but they have uh, the biggest scout range. They can see pre pretty much all over the map, but as you can see, they're pretty small, and they only take two little things. So what we're going to do is we're just going to heavily armor it, so it doesn't die really, really easily. Um, and then we're going to add a scout bridge, which makes it view really, really, really far. Um, what shall we go for? So this is all hybrid, so you can put either on. So I mean, I could give it a shield. So that's a shield, but I mean, I don't really want to spend too many points on this. Um, I don't know, I think I'll just put a gun on it uh, and leave it to that. So, it's really hard, so, so, you know, you can kill the other scouts. Maybe one. Just one. So there we go. Don't really want to spend too much money on that. Now, this is the part where I need to choose some scouts, some scouts that will get up there and get hit and so on. Um, maybe a stingray? Yeah, let's go with a stingray, because I mean, I can put a pegasus on them, so I can do some pretty bad damage whilst uh, trying to, try to get in close. Oh, now something that I forgot to do was change the armor, uh, was change the hull section, because it will take all of my guns off, basically. Or is, is it gonna? Maybe that's just with all the ships. And of course, the scout bridge. Oh, there we go. It took them off. Damn it. Okay, so let's put those back on. Um, and we'll just leave it with the two weapons for now, and we'll clone this ship a couple times. Have three of them. Yeah? Okay, now we want to change the start position. I don't really want the uh, overlord at the end. Um, let's put the buzzer at the end so it can make off real quick. Um, let's see, maybe put an extra weapon on one of these, some spare parts, no, maybe not, maybe, 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 no, ooh, what to do, what to do, maybe a Kauser, no, no, oh, that's the cheapest thing I think, so, I don't know, maybe, Maybe 
some smoke grenades. Eight thousand, maybe decoy ship. Done. So decoy ship will confuse his radar if he has one. Whoa, what's it doing? Okay, well that happens sometimes. So let's just save it. Uh, fleet, awesome, and done. Save. Well, there we go. Fleet, awesome, large ship. So let's select that. Um, okay, and I think we're ready to go. So we're gonna check up soon, and we're gonna wait for the simmer to check up. He's probably building his fleet as well. So that's pretty good. Um, and we'll see what happens. There we go. I'm ready. So here we are. Okay, we're in. Okay, it's loading. Here we go. I'm tense. This is tense. So here we go. Here's our fleet. Uh, we've got our three stingrays, got our buzzer, and we've got our overlord. We could have renamed them, but uh, we didn't. So that's that's that. So here's how it works. Basically, you click on a ship. Uh, we've got four minutes to commit our turn, and then what will happen is it will play out the ten seconds. Uh, of what I've just told it to do and what he's told his ships to do and then um, yeah and then we'll have to play out the next uh, plan the next 10 seconds so let's go ahead and get our I mean you can see how big the buzzer's view range is compared to say this one so here it is here's theirs so it's pretty big so we don't really want to lose this guy because he's our he's our uh, eyes um, so let's send send the main forces this way and we need to get these guys going so as you can see I'm, I'm telling their engines to go forward and that's where they're going to end up after 10 seconds so Simo is committed so let's commit and here we go we're going out it's playing here we go oh god no I think they're gonna crash no we're good okay so yeah you can ram things and they do take damage Okie dokie, let's see. This, these can go here. So what we really want to do is I really want to get these uh, Stingrays up close to his ships and attacking his ships who will have spawned probably up here or over here. So maybe I should be bringing everything this way. Um, yeah, he's probably spawned up there. So let's turn everything around. So that was pretty, pretty silly of me, but it's okay. Um, now I have played Simo before. He he tends to make a bunch of buzzers, but I don't know. I don't know what he's done this time. So if he has made a bunch of buzzers, then that's okay because we've got the scout to deal with him. Um, so let's get going. So this number here is how many seconds it'll take for it to get to where it needs to be. So this one's only. It's going to stop after four seconds. There we go. Thank you. See anybody yet? I don't think so. Maybe send this guy up ahead to scout. Um, now I've only got one big ship, but Simo might have two or three big ships and maybe not as many scouts, uh, which is pretty worrisome if, uh, if I get in his range of weapons. So we're just waiting now, waiting on uh, him to do what he wants. Nope, they're not going to crash, are they? Mm, no, they're good. Oh, 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 oh! I see weapons. I see, I see people. So I really want to kill his buzzer, this buzzer here, because that guy is has got a much bigger view range than this guy so I'll be able to see him but he won't be able to see me which means he can't shoot at me uh, that was I don't want to fire that just yet okay and we want this guy to shoot so get up there and shoot your weapons and you sort of get up there and shoot your weapons as well and then you sort of get up there and shoot your weapons as well now if you do have like a deep keel like uh, my overlord does because it's a big ship then you go near the coast you can get grounded and that takes damage so that's bad um, so this buzzer is probably going to run away because it's a wuss we're going to shoot at him 
do some damage. Not enough to kill him, but he's gone now. Which means he can't see me, but I can I can still see him. So I'm gonna now shoot at his overlord. With that stuff. And maybe I don't know. I really don't want this guy to die, because I've got an advantage with him right now. 